Hi friends, welcome in my YouTube channel ERP SAP team. Today I will discuss how to get the WBS re report from the SAP PS module. For this, I am just using the transaction code CN41. Okay. Go in the dynamic selection. Go in the dynamic selection. Okay. Okay. ORG definition data. Okay. Select business area. Okay. And in my case, the business area is 1706. Uh, fill in project star. Okay. And uh, PS profile is I'm just checking. I'm the running T code CN41. Okay, getting my points. Fill in the project field star. Okay, go in the dynamic selection in the ORG unit definition. Okay. I'm just selecting one of the my WV, uh, one of the my business area, and just executing. This is ORG unit definition, okay? So it takes time while executing this data because so many WBS are uh, available that are closed, that are released, that are created, that are in open mode. So wait for a while while execution this uh, transaction code. This is the year end activity. You should close those WBS in which work has been completed, assetized and budget had been remaining budget had been returned to the finance team. So it's my humble request to all the planning officer, please close, close such WBS because unnecessary it's, uh, these are open in SAP. Okay. So that's my humble request to all. One more thing. Uh, if you go in the dynamic selection, there are various parameters through which you can select the WBS, okay? And uh, it takes time. Okay, you just see all the WBS created in the 1706 business area are just displayed here, okay? See, the uh, I'm just again focusing again. I have focused the CN41 report in my previous video. But see, this is the project definition. This is the description of the project. Dot zero one CM oblique fifteen double zero five five six six dot zero one. This is the WBS element, and everybody is focusing on this. Okay, this is the approved project estimate file. This is the network. In this, there is a two line item ten and twenty cut over material cost. Okay. What is the cutover material cost is this, okay? So total and network cost is this and total order class plan is this, okay? So if you go there, status uh, to check the status of the WBS, status of WBS is closed, okay? I'm focusing on the only WBS list, okay? So go in the view, select object type, Deselect all, select only WBS element and the level from level 2 to 99. Fine. Generally, the level 1 is project definition and level 2 is a WBS. Dot 01, dot 02, dot 03, these are the WBS. Okay. Level 2 WBS. Click on the continue. So, I am just getting the list of only WBS element. Getting my points? Now my focus is basic start date. So go in the choose field. 
click on the basic start date and select in uh, choose this field in your report okay i'm just selecting this field basic start date fine so once you scroll this in basic start date come in your picture fine now export this data in the spreadsheet format export this data in the spreadsheet format select the table microsoft excel okay wait for while okay see this is the wbs all the type of the wbs report come in your excel file now the save this data save this data in one of the your folder okay now i am preparing one of the One seven zero six WBS. Okay. One seven zero six. And as on date today. Getting my points. This data come in the Excel format. Now. Select the filter. Getting my points. Select the filter. And apply the filter here does not contain clsd getting my points once you close your wbs it's come the status clsd getting my points getting my points some of the wbs status is taco you should you to you should change this status to clsd getting my points now Select all, Alt V, Control C. I am just separating this unclosed WBS data in the different sheet. Getting my points? Now, see, my again concern is select here. This is year and this is month. Getting my points? Now apply year filter on the basic start date. You will get year. Okay. Apply month formula to your date. You can split these things also, but that is not my concern here. Okay. I am just applying. Okay. So all the year and month uh, fields come in your Excel sheet. Okay. Again, you apply just filter formula. There are various options to just manipulate your data in the Excel. But my observation and my uh, step is this. Okay. My cut off date is 31st March 2019 getting my point 31st March 2019 2018 financial year will be in was in at this day now 2020 financial year is moving on so my objective is the WBS which are created up to 2018 financial year should be closed because again 2019 financial year has been closed 2020 financial year has been running okay so my concern is select 2018 2019 getting my points 2018 My concern is here, 
I am separating 2019 WBS, 2000 the WBS which are created in month of 2019. Okay, the date is up to two. Getting my points? Month is very less WBS. Okay, so I am separating this WBS again. Control A, Alt B, and Control C. Okay. Again, I am just preparing a different sheet 2019. The WBS which are created in 2000. Okay, the WBS which are created in 2019, and now here the WBS which are created in 2018. Getting my points? WBS which are created in 2018 is this. Getting my points? And WBS which are created in 2019 is this. Now, my first objective to uh, fill units, please close these WBS which are created in 2018 year. Okay, up from 1st January to 1st January 2018 to 31st January 2018 because my dates are not in the financial year terms. My dates are in the annual year terms from 1st of January to 31st of the December. Okay. So, first objective to close these WBS which are created which was created in 2018 year and then target to close these WBS in which work has been completed okay so this is the basic step you should just focusing on this these steps because in field unit there are so many concern about how to get WBS list how to uh, resolve this issue okay so thank you for watching this video if you really think this is useful for you and you are uh, working in the planning section then Please subscribe my YouTube channel for my latest videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.